What's up, boys? It's Cade. So, uh, we're gonna do it. We're gonna spend these three five-star crystals that we've been working so hard to collect over December, which has been a crazy month when it comes to shards. And I know it's a big risk. I know with Medusa coming up, with Blade coming up, it's, um, it might seem silly to, to spin now, but the goal on this account has always been, from the beginning, rapid progression, and at this point, I, I just don't think that uh, slowing ourselves down until the end of February um, is really lined up with our goal of progressing as quickly as possible. Also, not waiting for January 3rd when Sparky comes in because um, Rangtown tickets will have expired. So if, say, we pull somebody like a five-star Gwenpool, we wouldn't be able to rank down our four-star Gwenpool. So it makes more sense even though I know it's a big risk and we may pull nothing to uh, to do this now. So uh, it also gives us a better chance at using our five-star mutant gem, which uh, would definitely be nice. So here we go. Could be good. Could be bad. Could, let's pull two. Two like that. And then one more. Oh, I want to do it on Iceman, but let's spin them. So, we're gonna tap them. Just had a buddy yesterday pull Hulkbuster, Luke Cage, and Howard the Duck making this exact same decision. So, hopefully, hopefully, we get treated a little bit better. Not a great start with Groot. Not a great start, but this will also help us with T4B and all that. So, <laughs> I'm gonna try to stay positive. Please, kabam gods. We need an Archangel, a Rogue, an X-23, an Iceman, a Gwenpool, a Hyperion, an Ultron, any of those. Uh, who else, who else? Oh my gosh. I wouldn't even mind a Quake at this point. All right, let's keep going. I'm gonna keep going, this last one. This is, I'm gonna exit out. I'm gonna open on Iceman. And let's go. It doesn't seem like luck shining down on us right now, but this also helps us make a decision in case, in case they do do a five-star awakening gem of your choice, which again is wishful thinking. No way. No way. Dude. Yes. That's phenomenal. We have him as a four-star. Now we have him as a five-star. Definitely worth it now that we did that. Oh my gosh, was not expecting Ghost Rider. This is gonna be fantastic. And now we're gonna have a decision to make when it comes to Voodoo or Ghost Rider rank up. Oh, I'm gonna screenshot this because I'm gonna send it to the dudes in the Alliance. I'm not gonna show them the other two, but uh, wow, yes, so, so excited. All right, you guys, this ended up going well. I mean, the first two whatever, but they'll help us with T4B, but this was, made it worth it. Um, I know I didn't say Ghost Rider before, I've been using my 440 uh, four star, but uh, obviously Ghost Rider's a fantastic pull, and now we just gotta start saving up for a Sparky or a, a Blade when he comes into the featured. One minute, 37 seconds later. What's up boys, it's Cade. So is that time again? I feel like we just opened three crystals like three days ago, two days ago. But with all the MODOK stuff and with the uh, rank rewards for the gifting event, it's been a fantastic month. So it's time to open up another five-star crystal. Now, if you guys haven't been watching the openings, you know with as aggressive goals as we have for the account, we just gotta keep spinning. I know Sparky doesn't come in until tomorrow, no, the day after tomorrow, uh, January 3rd. Uh, but we're hoping for one of the mutants because of our five-star gem, and we're also wanting to make the best decisions before um, the rankdown tickets expire. So if we were to pull like a five-star Gwenpool, I know it might be wishful thinking, but uh, we would have to rank down our four-star uh, rank five. So um, because of all that, we got to keep spinning. So let's not delay any more. Again, all any of these openings are a kind of a big. Um, gamble but hopefully we get lucky so let's pop it in the spinner archangel is our number one 
we want to take easy path with him but there's so so many good champs i really hope we end up landing on one of them uh, let's see let's see let's <gasps> That's exactly, that's exactly what I was. I, if you guys have watched the, the openings, I'm just kind of freaking out. I need a webcam. But uh, the crazy thing is, of all of the champs that we were wanting to upgrade, X-23 was towards the top of the list because we've got so many mutant cats, because we needed a 455 to take on Easy Path. It was her, Rogue or Iceman, just because we have the mutant gem, but uh, neither of them would have been easy path champs for us. Or, um, Archangel, of course. Um, and at this point, I don't think I'm even going to awaken X-23. She doesn't really need it. I mean, she'll benefit from it, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm just, I'm too effing excited to uh, be able to say anything uh, or to be able to make that decision now. Oh my gosh, you guys. What an amazing couple months it's been since we started this uh, this account. This should be fantastic. Um, now, again, I hope your polls are just as good. I know RNG can suck, and believe me, on the old account, we were not pulling champs like these. So, um, anyway, I hope I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, if you're not subbed, I hope you sub. We stream every day at uh, noon Eastern now. Uh, and we always have a good time. So, we'd love to have you as a sub. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this, and... Again, best of luck in the New Year's, especially with your five-star polls. Take care, you guys.